With American production ramping up in 1941 and the viability of converting merchants to escort carriers proven with the first six conversions, in late 1941, series conversion began in earnest. These became the 9,800-ton Bogue class, which began entering service in June of 1942. Like Charger, incomplete C3 hulls were used, but their conversion was more complete, taking longer but yielding better ships. Like Charger, despite not being originally planned for it, they had a small island attached to the side rather than intruding on the flight deck or hangar. They also still only had one propeller. Unlike Charger, they had two elevators. Also, propulsion was upgraded from diesel to steam turbine. Most importantly though, the hangar and flight deck were longer. In response to the continuing need for escort carriers, a second group of 24 was laid down. Despite being built from the start as escort carriers, these were virtual repeats with only minor improvements. Most notably, a larger flight deck. Again, speed of production took precedence over quality. Eleven of the original group were transferred to the Royal Navy as the attacker class upon completion of their conversion and at the same time as their commissioning. The first eight had already been given names by the U.S. Navy, but the last three hadn't. All eleven were returned post-war and were eventually either converted back to merchant ships and sold into private service or eventually sold for scrap. All of the surviving American ships were eventually sold for scrap. Of the 24 repeat bogues, all but the first, Prince William, were lent to the Royal Navy in lieu of the Casablanca class as the Amir class, some after very short U.S. service. Post-war, they too were returned and eventually either converted to merchants or sold for scrap. Like her near sisters, Prince William was eventually sold for scrap. Though not perfect, these were okay ships considering their size and speed of conversion. Despite their size, they could carry a useful number of planes. Originally just intended for transporting aircraft and leading anti-submarine hunter-killer groups, a role they excelled at, in the Pacific some even got a chance to show their value as assault carriers, a role they had never been intended for. The only real drawback was that the original freighter design featured a continuous main deck that sloped upward as it neared the bow. When these ships were converted, the main deck became the hangar floor. As a result, the hangar floor wasn't horizontal, but rather sloped upward near the bow. This made moving aircraft around in the forward part of the hangar rather troublesome. Bogue was started October 1, 1941, taken over by the Navy May 1, 1942, and completed September 26, 1942. Card was started October 27, 1941, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed November 8, 1942. Copahee was started June 18, 1941, taken over February 8, 1942, and completed June 15, 1942. Corps was started January 2, 1942, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed December 10, 1942. Nassau was started November 27, 1941, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed August 20, 1942. Altamaha was started December 19, 1941, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed September 15, 1942. Barnes was started January 19, 1942, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed February 20, 1943. Block Island was started January 19, 1942, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed March 8, 1943. Breton was started February 25, 1942, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed April 12, 1943. Croatan was started April 15, 1942, taken over May 1, 1942, and completed April 28, 1943. Prince William was started May 18, 1942, and completed April 9, 1943. Main armament was originally two 5-inch 51 caliber low-angle guns in single open mounts side-by-side -side at the stern. Later ships instead carried the 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose gun 
propulsion was by two boilers venting to two small midship funnels, one on each side, that produced steam to one turbine. This produced 8,500 horsepower to directly drive the single propeller for a top speed of about 18 knots. There was one rudder. The flight deck was 436 feet by 80 feet on the first batch and 450 feet by 80 feet on Prince William. There was one port side catapult. There were two elevators that were 41 by 33 feet. The hangar was 261 feet by 62 feet by 17 and a half feet. Aircraft complement was usually about 24, usually about nine Wildcats and 15 Avengers. Modifications were fairly typical. Radar was added and improved. The earlier ships that had been completed with a 5-inch 51 caliber low angle had them replaced with 5-inch 38 caliber. Dual purpose. Light and medium aircraft, anti-aircraft was constantly improved. Bogue joined the Atlantic Fleet in February of 1943 and operated there until the end of the war in Europe. In that time, she or her escorts sunk 11 U-boats, damaged another, and sank two Japanese subs. She also made two ferry runs carrying Army aircraft to England and trained many pilots. In July of 1945, she transferred to the Pacific and made one trip to Alaska before joining the fleet in the Western Pacific just in time for the war to end, training pilots the whole time. Card joined the Atlantic Fleet in February 1943 and spent the rest of the European War making ferry runs, training pilots, and hunting subs, a mission that netted her or her escorts 11 U-boats. Transferring to the Pacific in early July of 1945, she spent the rest of the war transporting aircraft to Hawaii and Guam and training pilots. Post-World War II, she eventually served as a civilian manned aircraft transport during Vietnam. While in port at Saigon on May 2, 1964, she was mined by a North Vietnamese frogman and sunk in 20 feet of water. Eventually raised, she was repaired and returned to service. Kopahi joined the Pacific Fleet in early September 1942 and spent virtually the entire war transporting aircraft around the Pacific and training pilots. Corps joined the Atlantic Fleet in early April of 1943 and spent the rest of the European War making ferry runs, training pilots, and hunting subs, a mission that netted her or her escorts seven U-boats. Transferring to the Pacific in early July of 1945, she spent the rest of the war ferrying aircraft to Hawaii and the Philippines and training pilots. Nassau joined the Pacific Fleet in October of 1942 and ferried aircraft to the South Pacific until April of 1943. In May of 1943, she supported the liberation of Atu, thus making her the only American carrier to see combat service in the Aleutians. She spent the rest of the war ferrying aircraft around the Pacific, with the notable service of taking part in the Gilberts invasion in November of 1943 and training pilots. Alta Maha joined the Pacific Fleet at the end of October of 1942 and spent the rest of the war transporting aircraft around, going as far as Karachi, Pakistan, and training pilots. Barnes joined the Pacific Fleet in April of 1943 and spent most of the war transporting aircraft around the Pacific, with the notable service of taking part in the Gilberts invasion in November of 1943 and training pilots. Block Island joined the Atlantic Fleet in May of 1943. After shuttling aircraft to England, she spent the rest of her life hunting U-boats sinking or sharing in the sinking of four of them. While doing so, at 8.14 p.m. on May 29, 1944, she was hit by two U-boat torpedoes. Ten minutes later, another one hit her. After abandoning ship, she finally sunk at 9.55. Breton joined the Pacific Fleet in June of 1943 and spent most of the war transporting aircraft around the Pacific and training pilots with the notable service of supporting the liberation of the Marianas in mid-1944 and the invasion of Okinawa in 1945. Croatan joined the Atlantic Fleet in July of 1943 and spent the rest of the war there. In addition to training and transporting aircraft, she and her group 
hunted U-boats, eventually scoring five kills and forcing one crew to abandon ship and scuttle their boat to avoid capture. Also, they rescued survivors from the swamped destroyer Warrington. Prince William joined the Pacific Fleet in June of 1943. After a year of training pilots and ferrying aircraft around the South Pacific, she transferred to the Atlantic in June of 1944. There, she did more of the same, transferring planes and training pilots. When the fighting in Europe ended, she transferred back to the Pacific and finished the war doing the same thing there.